Hey, praise the Lord. It's, uh, it's that time. It is that time to hear God. This has been a, 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 a what we call a tumultuous week. We need to hear God. We got a country that's split right down the middle on a topic that they know nothing about. We have craziness around the world. And uh, it's all what God had talked about it, but we're going to pray and we're going to get right in it because it's time for God to speak. We heard everybody else, you know, we heard Eli Hughes speak, you know, as a or as a person standing in the gap for God. We heard the friends speak. We heard Job speak. You spoke. I spoke. Everybody's speaking today. We got everybody's right in their own eyes. But now we're going to hear God speak. But first, we're going to pray and then we're going to go hear God speak. I got my grand because she, when she grow up, she's going to play this back. If the Lord will, she's going to play this stuff back and she's going to see herself sitting there smiling. And we will see her reaction to God speak. Because that's the only important thing word that we can hear is God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for this lesson that you restarted back in October. You say, get on this too. And I've been obedient. And Father, we thank you and we praise you. We honor you. We lift you up. It's been a time, Lord. We got COVID. We got uh, strands. We have folk just it's like the whole world, which you have predicted, has gone absolutely nuts. We got pro-choice, pro-life. We got gun lobbies. We got guns. We got here. We like the wild, wild west out here. And then people are still saying, we, you know, it's about me. But you said it's about flesh. It's about that devil. But that's okay. You got something for us. You're going to speak to us. Speak to our hearts, Lord. Let these lips of clay do what you say do, not what I want to say. Speak through me and, uh, and give us revelation. And uh, you, you, you just, we going to listen like we, we've been speaking. Now we got to listen to what you have to say, which is, which is the most important part. And we give you all the praise and we give you all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, like I say, I, I've been waiting for this for a long. I'm going to share my screen. I've been waiting. I'm going to put some music in the background because I, I took it out to hear. Uh, but now we need something because sometimes you have to come back and then you got to listen. You got to you got to let it soothe into your soul. Listen to this. Look, listen to what God has to say. So we're going to share our screen. And we got some worship music going to come in the background real slow and real, real nice. But you got to hear this. You got to hear the word of God that we're going to share. Okay. Uh, like always, and I put different things. I move things around based on what the Spirit has given me in my heart. Things around so that he can, he can take center fold in this, this and most important few chapters that he's giving only God going to speak, Job going to come back and just shut his mouth and then God going to ask us some questions that he wants all the apostles all the prophets, all the pastors all the teachers, all the evangelists all the body of Christ to answer because judgment comes to the house of God first we got a lot of folk talking we got a lot of preaching going we got a lot of dancing but he wants you, he wants you to he wants you to See what he have to say. You know, be quiet. Like in the beginning, God. All of us in the beginning, God. And you know, I'm, I'm gonna stop there because you, you can read just like I can. In the beginning, God. And then the Job experience is what we he have experienced, what we're experiencing today. It's God's love in this friendship test. He said, I, "You're no longer slaves, your friends." Oh, come on, sons, daughters of God. So let's say that those that are in Christ, I ain't got something a young lady told me. She said, she blessed. I said, are you in Christ? And she shut her mouth. So we, we are going to keep going here. 
We want to hear what God has to say. I'm tired of all these folks talking, but let God talk. Jesus said, look, look, he said, God, Jesus said, God said, okay. He said, every place you see, God put Jesus' name. God said, okay, Lord. He said, for all things, uh, mine, all these things, my hand has made. And all these things have come into being by and for me. Who said the Lord? Okay, so that he, 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 he's putting his presence on right now. He's getting ready. Job and everybody been going. And then he said, Moses said this. Then Moses, well, I said, Moses, what on me? He had to say some things. You got. He said, I call on heaven and earth. And that's what I'm doing today. He said, God, I'm calling on heaven and earth to record this day against you that I may set before you life and death. This is what it's all about, life, death, life, death, blessing, cursings, spirit, flesh, that's me, that peace. Therefore, choose life that both you, look at it, he said both thou, but I'm saying both you and your seed may live. That's what's happening today. That is just, you know, that's how I put a little through the night If you don't believe I, I, I'm not saying this. This is the inspired word of God. Okay. Love suffers long. We've been doing that for the last, since October last year. He said the Job experience. You know, look, 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 look at this, the book of Job. This is what it's teaching us. It's teaching us true repentance. I'm putting all this stuff. I'm not going to read all this because I read it before. It teaches us unconditional love. This is the this is for the body because the world can't receive it. That's why they're out there protesting. The, the world's out there protesting. They're going to be protesting and they're going to try to tear this, tear this country. This country is divided right down the middle. Okay. Greatest country ever on the planet. God shed his grace on me. But this is what Job's about. This is what this book is about. This is what suffering is about. Long suffering is about. Redeeming, is redeeming spirit. It's about truth and belief. And if you want to know what is truth, because we people think facts is true. No, he said, no, 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 no. Go to John 17. He'll tell you what truth is. It's out of the mouth of God. Okay. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a messenger. It's about God's love command. You go and go to Matthew and tell you what his love commandments is. Okay. You know, some people think it's take a man, go, go read it. It's about Christ's cross. Jesus Christ, he be crucified. It's about God is light. And he's going to talk about that. Okay. And his lights. And he said, his lights. He said, we are lights of the world. He got nothing to do. He said, we are lights because he's light. Okay, talk to the body of Christ. We're not talking to those who don't who don't understand God. We're talking to those who pre who preaching and teaching His Word. He said, "I'm talking to my body." Okay, I'm talking to the body today, and in the next few weeks, I'm talking to the body of Christ. I, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to ask you some questions that you, you need to answer because it's all about me. Here the churches become that latency in church. I want to talk to the latency in church. You think they're rich? Who, who's shaking? They do a lot of shaking and, and speaking in tongues. He said, let, let, "Let's talk to him. I'm gonna talk to you." He said, "Let's calm down. I want you to talk to him." He said, "Maturity is focus. You know, whatever you focus on the most, you give strength to." He said, "Maturity focus in Christ." He said, "This is the focus." Jesus speaks. This is Jesus now talking. The Word of God. The Word made flesh dwell. The one who created everything. Okay. He said, on that day, when that time comes, you will know for yourself. He said, this is maturity. I ain't talking about those babes, babes, right? This is maturity. You will know. Mature people know for yourselves that I'm in the Father. My Father. You and me and I'm in you. That's the Trinity. I guess try on God Trinity. He said, this is, this is it. This is his oneness. God is talking about. Are you, are you, are you apostles, prophets? 
pastors, teachers, evangelists. Come on. Come on. You're out there. You're doing well. You're going out there. You're, you're preaching. You're preaching the same people. Same people. Are they jumping up and down and they and they have no idea what the truth. They go back out and they do their thing. Okay. Let's get to Job. Now, chapter 38. We hear everybody speaking like we said. Now, God going to speak. Our holy God speaks. He said, uh, he said put, put God name. Put Jesus name. There. Now, the 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 italicized is me. You know, I want to know. He said, he's the household of faith. He said, yeah, you, I put that household of faith because that's what he told me. You know, I'm talking to the household of faith. He said, then the Lord Jesus answered Job out of a whirlwind and sin. You, you got to understand that's why I underline whirlwind. Whirlwind is like that uh, category five. He said, he answered Job out of a whirlwind. And he answered Job. And like Job was right there where the whirlwind is. I hear Job at the weakest state in the flesh. He's at the weakest state, but he's not. If you, if I couldn't even, if you stand in a whirlwind, that will suck you in. Okay. Now Job, he said, he answered him out of a whirlwind and said, the category, we put it, put it in perspective, category five. <laughs> the world call it category five, but it's God. Okay. He said, who is this? This is God talking. Who is this that darkened the council by words without knowledge? Look at that. He said, without. You, you answer, you, you talk, Joe, but you had without knowledge. That's what a lot of folks doing. They answer, you know, why, why me? Why me, though? You answer me without knowledge. Why, why me? Why, why, why am I going through what I'm going through? He said, you can ask why, but I'm going to ask you some questions. He said, you girt yourself up like a man, like a woman. You know, you you out there protesting today about this is your body. No, uh, you know, you got a choice. Come on, come on, he said. He's like, oh, he's, he's, well, he's a man. He said, I will demand of you. Okay, and declare, you declare to me. He ain't talking about Jesus, you declare to me. You now, where, where were you when I, he's talking about, uh, laid the foundations of the earth. Okay. Is that too hard for you? Go on. Declare to me. You know, that's what he said. If you have, if you have and no understanding. See, he said, if you, he said, if you, if you have, declare to me, if you have. He put that if there, that if then. That, let's say, if, if, if you have and know. If you have and know. Okay. If you have and know. If you have a no, understand. If you know, understand. Okay. Now that that may have been too hard for you, but for the body of Christ today, he said, who determined the measure of the earth? If you know, and he said, come on, I'm just I'm just throwing some questions out there. You know, now it's time for you to be quiet and let let God speak. Well, who stretched the measure line upon it? Okay. Okay. He said, okay. Upon the on what foundation? Was it fast? Come on, we smart. Foundation was it fast? Or who laid the cornerstone? You gotta answer. You gotta answer these questions. When was the morning star sang? Is it when the morning star sang together and all look all all? He didn't say some. All the sons of God shout, shouted for joy. All the sons. Okay, maybe that's too hard for some. Choice and all this other stuff. Okay. We pro life. They don't just get all everywhere on both sides. We everywhere. Mothers won't make a decision. Oh, you know, my daughter, she has her own opinion. No! She, her opinion is wrong if it's not from God. Teach your children. Train them how they should go. That's what God said. We, we let these children do it. Say and do anything you want. Or who shut up the seat? With doors. Look at that. He, he, he said, shut up. Come on. Smart people. Shut up. See with doors when they broke forth and they issued out of the womb. Oh, that's what that's what we talk about today. Womb. Talking about life. Issued out of the womb. Look, look, he said, he's talking about a sea. Who shut up the sea? Or who shut up? Who shut up the sea? Okay. 
God used the terms that we know. He said, when, when he said, he said, when I made the clouds, the garment of it, in thick darkness and swaddle bands for it. I was still talking about the sea. And mark for it my appointed boundaries and set bars and doors. Uh oh, you mean the sea have bars and doors? It's a womb? And it said, thus, he said, he said, and said, thus, that's what God said, thus, far. This is how far you shall. Look at it, shall you. I want you to listen to that. Shall you come and go no further? And here shall your proud waves, look at the proud, be stayed. That's past that state. This, this, this is how far you're going to go. I'm giving you a command. But he's asking you, because, well, who, who shed it? Who did that? And you, you got to answer these questions. If you can, he said, if you can. Now, you may not connect. Have you commanded the morning since your days began and caused the dawn to know its place? Look, he said, he, he said can you command? Look, look he, he, he said, come on, Joe. Come on, uh, 2022 saints. Okay, you, you, you're crying and you, you're preaching this stuff every week. Okay, show that the light, look at that. So that the light may get hold of the corner of the earth and shake wickedness of night out of it. So when you see this, the sunshine is outside today. He said, "Look, look, look!" He's talking to us. He's asking. He, God is asking a question. Simple question. He said, "It is changed like clay, into which a seal is pressed, and things stand out like a many." Colored garment. Lord, jump down from the wicked. They're like, look. You see, you, you, we read this many times, but we have, we we still don't. We got to get an understanding. He said, "You got to know this. The wicked is with hell. Is look at that. Is with hell, and their uplifted arm is broken." Have you explored the springs of the sea? Uh oh. Or have you walked in the recessive of the deep? You got, you got, he said, have you walked? Okay, he's just talking. He, he, God's just giving us some questions for 2022. This June, this last, this last weekend in June, God has given us some questions. And he's going to go on for the next, all the way through July, asking us some stuff. And, and then we have to answer. Have the gates of death, look at the gates. We know what gates are. We say gates of death. Been revealed to you. you know, a friend of mine, you know, people, I experienced death of a mother, you know, father and two brothers. And... And, and he, he's saying, have the gates of death been revealed to you? Okay. Or have you seen the doors of the deep dark? Doors of deep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, the doors? Doors? Come on, we're going to highlight. Doors of deep darkness. I took the these and thou's out. This is the Amplified Version. This is what they're saying. Okay, that's a question. He asked me, first of all, gates of day and then deep darkness. Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Comprehended the breadth of the earth. These scientists are smart. The breath, come on. The breath, the death. Tell me if he said comprehended now. Do you understand it? Tell me. And this is this is this is, this is Jesus. Let's see if I can get Jesus. Okay. Tell me if you know, tell Jesus if you know it all. I know we got some folks who know it all. Don't be gonna you think you know it all. No, I don't know. God knows somebody who know it all. I don't know it all. I don't know nothing. I don't. I know whatever he tells me to 
do and what it say. Sometimes I don't do it and I get in trouble. Where is the way of the light? Okay, Ooh, wait, wait, wait. A way? Light is a way. Remember, we talked about the light. We're we going to get into that a little later, too. He said, what is the way of the light? Dwells. Light dwells. And as for darkness, where is it? Abide. Mm -hmm. What is darkness? Reside. That you may conduct it to its home. And may know the path of his house. He's got a house. Come on. You must know since you were born then. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We give all these, these folk, uh, these human beings, power. Says, hey, come on. That you may conduct it to its home and you may know the path of its house. You must know since you were born. Or because you are extremely old. Mm. Have you entered into the treasuries of the snow? Look at that. Treasuries of snow. We get snow every season. You know, every other season, you know, in the winter. Or have you seen the treasuries of hell? That stuff that comes down, which I have reserved for the time of trouble. We're going to get, get into Revelation. We're going to talk about that. For the day of battle and war. It's going to be one final one. By what way is the light distributed? Here we go again. He, he's asking He's asking questions. Come on, scientists, astronomers, all these, all these smart people. That's it. That's the say, born again. Or the east wind spread it over the earth. Hmm. He said, what, what way? We should, we should know that. Who has prepared the channels of the torrent or the rain or the path of the thunderbolt to cause the rain on the unhabitable land on the desert where no man lives to satisfy the waste and desert the ground and cause the tender grass to grow for water? Have the rain... First he asked a question about the light and its way, and then he comes down here talk about the rain of the inhabited land that we know. And I know the satellites trying to pick it up. I said, "How the rain has? He said, have the rain a father? We just got through Father's Day. They have rain. What? The rain just the other day. He has a father, or have it begotten the drops of dew? Or who has begotten the drops of dew? Or whose womb?" Oh, uh, that, that fight, choice, life. There you go. Both, both sides. Both sides is in the church now. In, in the body of Christ. Come on, we got that. We got that fight too. We got a preacher. I got, I got a yeah, archbishop. You know, in the Catholic Church talking about we, we got, we got to do more to, to, to go back to Roe versus Wade and all, all this nonsense. What, what are you even into this fight? That's world stuff. Okay? Out of the who's womb came the ice. Came the ice. Hmm. In the hoary frost of heaven, who has given its birth? I know women think. I, I know me, my, my sisters. Uh, I, I love my sisters in, in, in the faith. They just, they just, you know, we all want in Christ. For some reason, we... Uh, I just shake my head. I'm not going to give an opinion because I'm, I'm letting God. He said, out of the womb came the He said, out of whose womb came the ice? And hoary frost from the heavens. Who has given birth? Hmm. I see a sign. Y'all silent. Come on. I know some people going to have. And then he said, the, he said, the waters of the congealed like stone, the face of the in the face of the deep is frozen. Hmm. We ain't got that. I know it's 2022. We, we still we still going down. We still trying, Lord. Can you bind the chains? 
He said, can you bind? So I had to do a little, uh, this is me, this little underlying black piece right here, the chains of the clusters of the stars of, of plasmas. See, I had, I wanted to find that for me. He said, what is that? You know, it's hard to find. It is defined as a, as a conspicuous group of clusters in the stars of the constellations, Tartars. You know, those, those stars that we will get to. <laughs> oh, we're going to get to that. Uh, He's going to talk about that a little, little bit. The Zodiacs. What are you? Uh, I'm a Taurus. Uh, I'm a Libra. I'm a, I'm a Gemini. Uh, come on. What a constellation. Commonly spoken as, as seven. The only six are visible. This is where I got it from dictionary.com. So give me the holiday. Stop me from that. And then this young, this lady, uh, this other lady, she wrote a little more deeper. She said, it is the star. It is a star cluster in the Milky Way. We heard of the Milky Way, all of us who've been in school and astronomy, took the astronomy class, where the Milky Way. The objects in this gal are other galaxies. You know, you like, you, you go into, you know, you like Star Wars, you saw the movie, are too far and too dim to be visible to the naked eye you know we got telescopes now you know we can look out farther than the naked eye to give you a perspective of the milky way this is what she said it, the, the, the milky way galaxy is between 150,000 and 200,000 light years in a cross now we only live less than some of us most of us less than 100 years and they got 200 200,000 light years. The plasmus is less than uh, 450 light years from Earth. Oh, oh, it's only less than 150 light years from Earth. This is person Lena. Or loose the cords. This is God coming back. Or loose the cords of the constellation Orion. Come on, we got to answer these questions. Can you leave forth the signs of the zodiac? Look, this is God talking. Can you leave forth the signs of zodiacs in their season? Or can you guide the stars of the bear with her young? Hmm. Do you know the, the ordinance of the heavens? Can you, with all our technology, can you establish the rule upon the earth? Can you establish it? We're like we got rules everywhere. Can you establish their rule? Can you establish their rule? He said there. First of all, do you know the ordinance of heaven? Can you establish their rule upon the earth? Can you lift you up your voice? to the clouds so that the abundant water can, may cover you. I remember my, my wife was in, before the job experience, she experienced, she said she was washing in the, in, in the laundry room here and like, we got a house. What, this is where this broadcast is coming from. We got a little laundry. Yeah, she said it just rained on her. And there was no hole in the roof and the rain came down so she was soaking wet. And then the voice from the Spirit of God said to Job the Spirit. She had no clue what that meant. The rule, and we did later on, that's 2005. Now we understand. The rule upon the earth. Can you lift up your voice to the clouds so that the abundance of the waters may cover you? Come on. Can you lift up your voice? Can you send light get the revelation we'll see what we talk about more get more revelation because every time you read this word you get more revelation can you send lightnings that they may go and say to you here we are mm. you say mm. I say Job is quiet who has put wisdom look at that put wisdom inward in the inward parts or in the dark 
clouds or who has given understanding okay, to the mind or to the meteor. You mean the meteor has understanding? Dark cloud, that wisdom. Who can number the clouds by wisdom? Can you number the clouds? I mean, we got a few of them up in there. Get all this technology, we number the clouds. <clears throat> can these computers we have, can we number the clouds? <clears throat> well, who can pour out the water? Bottles of heavens, of the heavens. When the heat has caused the dust to run into a mass in the clods, in the clods, to clever fast together, fast together. Can you, Joe? Come on, this is just first set of questions. Can you, can you, Joe? Hunt the prey. Or the lion. What's that the appetite of a young lion when they crouch in their den or lion wait? in their hiding places. Who provides for the ravens its prey when it, when it, when the young ones cry to God. See, the young ones cry to God and wonder about, wonder about because of lack of food. This is footnote, you know. I told you, when I go through my chapters, I really, really try to get the Holy Spirit just he just tuckles and I just get, you know, you know, this, this, this verse right here, 38, 19, you know, how except divine inspiration, divine inspiration, could Joe have known that light, okay, does not, does not dwell in. But a way. How could Job have known that? This is back before all this technology. For the light, as modern man has discovered, involves motion. That's what I was telling you, motion, waves. That's what we do. You know, it travels at 186 miles per second. You remember I told you that? And it can only dwell in a way. This, one, this is God talk. It is over 84,000 seconds in one day. So light motion travels 186,000 miles a second times over 84,000 seconds per day equal 50. Look, look, this is like, this is how much it travels in a day. How many miles? I did the calculation. So light. He said, God said, Jesus said, he said, he's the light. He's the, he's the, he's the light with the big L. Okay. We the little L. And look at look how many much light travel. He said, you're light to the world. That's 15. Hey, see, this is hundreds, thousand, million, billion. That's how much, that's how much. The light in you, you shall be light travel, motion. Okay. Okay. I just want you to get that. So I'm gonna stop sharing because I don't want I, I want you to really get what God is saying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for that uh, inspiration inspiring once again uh, to show how small we are compared to how big you are but we're in you we thank you for jesus we thank you it's not not i but christ is the cross he crucified that's the focus and we thank you and we praise you for that that um that first lesson uh, you know you speaking you telling us who you are we can't we can't answer the questions uh, you know, 
even today with all of our modern technology we we can't you know the smartest person on this planet cannot answer your questions because we you know gates and wombs and, and and snow and it comes down piles of snowing somewhere today in the world and it's just it's just too much and you say one tiny snowflake have a womb and we fussing about you know whether whether you know women body is theirs and he said, yeah, you, you created all things. You made it clear you're the creator that everything comes, every good and perfect gifts come from you. And we, we don't fight about stuff like that. We give you the praise. We give you the honor in Jesus' name. And I, you know, I'm going to end this thing because like I say, God is speaking. I don't have to say anything. I said, look at the news. I look at all these folk, everybody's opinion and, and, um, it's, it, that's what it is. It's an opinion. Until you can answer all those questions that God put before you. You know, it means absolutely nothing. Your, your opinion means absolutely nothing. What did God say? People say, well, you know, what do you think? I say, what did God say? <laughs> what is true? You know, what is the truth? You know, because sometimes I sit up here lying. He hates all liars. He don't hate me. He all those habitual just do just this line to be lying. Lying hurts people. But you people can't people can't take the truth nowadays. They just they just don't want to hear the word of God. They want to hear these popcorn sermons and these folk get up here. They don't even read, they don't even read a whole chapter. They just read a verse and then they go on to themselves. Yeah, you can you can say, you know, try to give an example, try to set the set the tone, but the the, the it's the word of God. That's the only thing that's gonna stand. And I understand it. I understand it. You're trying to you're trying to hold somebody's attention. I ain't trying to hold anybody's attention. I'm speaking the word. You ask me a question, so I'll give you an answer. And I usually hold their attention anyway, because you know, whatever you focus on the most, I told a young man, I said, whatever you focus on the most, you give strength to. So if you focus in on your daughter, you focus on your wife, you focus in on, uh, if I focus on my grandchild, I'm giving strength to her. If I focus on my wife, if I focus on, you know, it, it's just crazy. I focus on business, I give strength to it. And it's all God's. I turn it over to him. Everything is God. Even my sin, I say, I turn it over. Lord, I sin against you and you only. When I sin, I sin against God and God only. I don't sin against the person. I sin against God. The person is the one that's going to hurt. And God has to clean that up. Because I can't, you know, all I can do is, is, is say, you know, I, I apologize. If I hurt, they feel. But he put me on this earth, tell the truth, be a witness. He said, you're a witness. You're going to be a witness. And then you're going to do what you're supposed to do. And I know, uh, you know, those are the choices. You know, free, free, you know, everything is a choice. And you have to make it each and every day. Every minute of every day, you don't have to make a choice. He said, you for me or against me. It's just that simple. It's, not, it's no middle ground. You're for, you either, you either for God, you, you, like the young lady said, she said, she said she's blessed. See, you in Christ. She didn't know oh, yeah, something wrong with you. I said, no, nah, I'm just, I just thought I heard. She said, you blessed. <coughs> People say, well, I want God to bless me. I say, you in Christ. Uh, if you're in Christ, you're already blessed. But we, 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 don't, we, don't, we don't want to hurt anybody feeling. You know, so we, we try to be nice. And it is nice. You know, he, the nice. Jesus was nice. He just spoke the word. He understand who he under, he understands, he understood, he under, he he understands where you are. Just like this child, you keep speaking to her, she's gonna start talking. You keep pretty soon, you know, she's walking, crawling, you know, she's gonna be walking. Then she's going to come into, you're going to ask her, you're going to try to do the best you can. And, and that's why you, you know you make these things. You got the ability nowadays to put stuff on and say, here's for you. 
you know, Olivia, this is for you. This is for you. Understand this stuff. Understand your God. Because you didn't just get here because the mother died, put sperm inside it, and all of a sudden you didn't come. You, you were here before. You were in him. You were in God's mind. <laughs> then you just happened to come to these parents. You didn't just happen. It was his, his thought. His purpose for you in your life. Nothing is nothing takes God by surprise. It's, it's orchestrated. You're fearfully, wonderfully made. Marvelous are God's work. That's what the psalmist said. He, 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 he tried to get away from him. He, could, he couldn't find it. He, could, he, he couldn't do it. Leave me alone, God. He said, I can't. I can't. I can't leave you alone. He said, my love won't allow me to. I know we want some folk to die. and We hate folk. But God said, they ain't got nothing to do with you. They ain't got nothing to do with me. He said, my ways is higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than you. Like the earth is higher the earth is heaven. The distance between them. He saw my thoughts is higher than yours. That's why he sent Jesus. He sent his word. Give me a body, he said. Give me a body. I want to go down. <laughs> Speak. I want to show my... Show my sons and daughters who I am. I want them to touch and feel me. Hmm. So I leave that alone. That's too deep for even some of the scholars, the theologians. They just theorizing. Mm -mm. You got to know this. Like Paul said, know the power. I want to know the power of your resurrection. Jesus, I lay down my life. I can take it up again. He said, what? The, what are you talking about? How can you take your life up again? You can put it down, take it up. Oh, he did it. He showed you. I am the uh, Lazarus. He said, I am the resurrection of the life. <laughs> Move the stone. I want to show you something. Lazarus, come forth. I'll leave that alone. That's too, that's too deep for you guys. Yeah. That's too deep. It's too deep. But when we get to Revelation, we're going we, to we get some of that deep stuff. But right now, we're trying to let God speak. And we're going to let him speak. He's going to speak through me. He's going to speak. He's going to speak. He gonna, you heard his word. And let's see Job's reaction to his word. Okay. And you, it's the same reaction you should have. And then you grow up. Just like that little baby right now. She grow up. Don't try to keep her as a baby. She got to grow. She got to mature. Not only in her body, but in her mind. When they don't grow, they're retarded. They're mentally defective. They might have a big body. They might have a mature body, but their mind, and that mind is not mature. You got a lot of folk in the church, just, just babies, just like that baby sitting right there. They smiling, they, they speaking in unknown, like she is speaking, uh, unknown to me. But they're babies. God wants mature saints, sons and daughters. Because you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't go through this world uh, a baby. Somebody have to change you every five seconds. I leave that alone. Next week, we'll hit it again. God is good. God bless you. God keep you. God calls his face to shine on you. Until next week, speak, Lord. Like that song says, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. God is good. I, I will see you next week if the Lord will. God bless you. God is speaking.